Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a new fan favorites video. Last week I asked you guys who your favorite champion Europe players are and today we're gonna check them out and we're gonna see who is winning that Siebe van der Heide giveaway. Let's get right into it. So to start off, Marco Asensio. Reasoning Dutch. Oh, what a reason. Plays for the most dominant team in the world. Decisives, midfielder like AA as an attacker. He has it all. Well, let's see this then. If we look at the past in Real Madrid, he has been doing it already. And that is really, really nice. And he's probably going to do the same at Paris Saint-Germain. Only thing I am wondering and I'm afraid of is... Is he going to start every game? I personally don't think so. If he does, amazing. Um, if he doesn't little bit less i mean i just wouldn't know when to line him up myself um because you're not you don't have that that the security that he's gonna play um but besides that when he does start he can be amazing he can get i can get those decisions he can get that all-around score and just in general amazing player and um he is really capable of doing some good things for sure. Also for Paris Saint-Germain, only question is, is it going to be every game? Then next up, next up we got Alex Garcia. No reasoning needed. Um, for me, there is no reasoning needed. It's true. Um, for me, he's... But man, he's so cheap at the moment, guys. Pick him up, honestly. This guy was one of the most creating midfielders in La, La Liga last season. And he was just doing amazing. He was getting the sizes, but also all around scores um, and just hitting really, really insane scores. Um, and then he got injured. So since then, he's been so low. Um, and I think again, this season he's going to be really important for the team. And I'm looking forward to see him play again because this guy is amazing to watch. And also he's just, he's a really good player. He, he knows what he's doing at Girona in the La Liga competition. Um, and just in general, when he hits the decisive, he can do really, really well. And last season was just, a, he did some amazing things in last season. And I just hope he's going to do the same thing this season. Really, really like that pick for sure. Then we got Kimmich. Um, Joshua Kimmich always scores 100 or 90 points. Uh, has a very high AA score, so he just needs to get the size to score D+. Plus. Key player for Bayern, king of the Bundesliga, plays for the German national team. Only six yellow scores in his whole solo career. S possible move to Barca. Well, that didn't happen. Um, yeah, I mean, he's insane. What do you want me to say? He's insane. He's also insanely expensive. Um, most of us don't want to pay this for a player, I'm, for sh I'm sure, but... If there's someone I would just line up in always in my priority lineup and captain him as well, it would be Kimmich. It, you know how nice that would be to just have your player always in your priority lineup to just captain him without thinking, without making those decisions. Oh, yeah, amazing. Uh, it's an amazing player and just insane scores and potential of hitting insane spikes as well. So uh, definitely, in my opinion, best midfielder in the champion Europe. After Alex Garcia, of course. <laughs> anyway, Kamavinga. Next up, also midfielder who has been playing defense as well a lot. Um, definitely a nice shout because, I, I mean, he has been growing so much last season. And it's going to be interesting how he's going to do this season as well. If we get the subs out, 57.1. He has been doing some amazing jobs, getting the sizes, getting all-around scores. Um, consistency not totally there yet but I'm really looking forward to see what he can do next season as well in my opinion for now what he delivers too expensive under 23 decks 20 year old you know um, but besides that amazing player and really looking forward to see what he can do um, what did you say Rio are gonna dominate and he's insane with the all rounds definitely true Next up, Luis Alberto. Picked him up in the summer for just eight pounds and his scores, scoring is in real. Melaz will play well. He's more than capable of hitting 80 plus scores on multiple occasions. And for the price I picked him up, I think he's going to be a steal. And I definitely agree with you. He's already risen a lot as well. I've looked at this guy for so, so many times because he just has the perfect, perfect possibilities of hitting those spikes in good games. Only thing is, when are those good games? That's the question, because he can also hit some stinkers. 
Um, he does get a lot of all rounds as well, so he wouldn't kill your lineup completely in the most cases. But when he gets to the size of you're in, when he gets the size of you're in, and that's the beautiful uh, thing of this guy. Again, a little bit of a a card that not everyone would pick, but I really liked your pick. Um, I think it's a nice, really nice pick, and I. Um, yeah, I'm actually I'm actually wearing the Lazio kit. Um, this is a training shirt from a few years ago. And just in general, I love this card. I, I think he will do some amazing things next season as well, for sure. Then we got Arda Guller, absolute prospect, um, possible crack. Just plus Real Madrid does not make the wrong choices of under 23 for years. That is true. This I mean, this is going to be interesting to see. Wait, he has an injury. Damn, that's that stuff. Uh, anyway, I'm really looking forward to see what he's gonna do at Real Madrid, um, how much he's gonna start and everything, because we all know that what he was capable of in uh, Super League, but now we have to see in La Liga what he's capable of, and I'm really curious to see that. Um, a really expensive guy as well, but he's 18 years old, under 23 decks for so many years, um, and just in general, an amazing footballer, a football player, and I'm I'm interested to see how he's gonna do with Madrid, honestly. Then next up we got Isak from uh, Newcastle United. Difficult to watch this guy play and not um, run to buy him. I can see him being one of the legends in the making for the Newcastle project. I honestly think that's possible for sure. Same goes for Sweden national team. Um, yeah, so otherwise, I mean, he hasn't done that crazy yet. Um, you can still use him in Capital 40 if you want, but... The potential is definitely there, I think, because he he, he is a really good fo football player and I think he'll be able to hit some nice scores with a little bit more decisive this season as well. Newcastle United have been picking up a lot of players. He's still pretty young as well, so I'm honestly, I'm curious how it's going to go and it's going to be interesting to see how he does this season as well. Then we got Leao, my favorite player, one of the players who has the qualities to become the strongest in the world. Outstanding dribbling, assists and goals. Beautiful to see. A ph phenomenon. Do I say that correct? Phenomenon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway. A little bit on the expensive side. I remember this guy was super cheap at some point. Am I crazy? Okay. I'm, I think I'm cra crazy. I don't know. Um, Leao is definitely a shout. I, I think he does have the potential of really becoming a good, good, good football player. I don't think he's there yet at all. But he's already getting some spikes here and there. And he's just doing doing his bits at Milan. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he does this season. And hopefully he keeps progressing and keeps um, getting better um, within that Milan team as well. Um, I see he extended this contract to 28. So that's really good news. Um, on the expensive side though, but uh, really, really good pick for sure. Then we got Lace Malou, who plays it for Brest at the moment. Interesting. Great AA, every game, even if they lose. Can get decisive, affordable. That's for sure, he is affordable. I didn't know he played for Brest, what the fuck? Oh, he's pretty consistent. Ooh, I like this pick. For his price and everything, it's definitely a decent decent pick. When he does get the size, we can hit you with some really high scores as well. And also without the size, we can, can do it with all round scores. I definitely like this pick. This is again a pick that's a, a guy I haven't looked at in so long. So a little bit of an under the radar pick and I really like it. And, uh, and he's affordable too. So honestly, great shout. Next up, Pulisic, um, who went to Milan. I think the Milan move is really favorable and will lead to lots of good scores. And this, I also think, because in preseason, pre I'm pretty sure Pulisic was doing really, really good. Getting a lot of assists in, and that's probably what he's going to do um, in the future as well for Milan. When the season actually starts. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. Hopefully he's going to start every game, because that's going to be important, important for a guy like this. 24 year old now. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. I think he does have the potential to hit some really, really good scores. Getting a lot of assists, uh, uh, mostly, I think. I think goals is going to be a little bit less, but I think the assist possibilities are really, really high. Then we got Berardi. Um, Sassuolo striker, he's a flag of the club. 
He has contributed to bring a little club in Syria from Serie C and he is one of the best number 10, 11 strikers in Syria every season. I mean, you can see that at his scores already. I mean, he's amazing. I've actually thought of buying him as well in the past, but for his price, I was thought like no midweek utility. I'm not, not too sure. Uh, but his spikes can be insane. He's a really, really good with the all round and the decisives there. Um, and just in general, an amazing, an amazing silver pick for Champion Europe for sure. Uh, he's gonna hit so many green scores for you. It's, it's gonna be insane. So, uh, like you said, he's really consistent and he has been bringing their club really high up. And it's, it's nice to see. I think it's definitely a nice shout. Um, it's unfortunate that he's so expensive, otherwise I would definitely be interested, but if I spent this amount of money, I would be interested in a player that also has midweek utility myself. Um, but in general, really, really, really amazing card and he's gonna hit some huge spikes and I'm expecting the same thing this season as well. Then we got the Rodrigo um, from City. Such an elite scorer gets tons of all rounds now that Gunagon is gone and the Brown is injured. He's going to be the main man in the midfield. I think he pretty much already was almost, to be honest, because Kevin Brown was more in the attacker section and Gundogan. Well, Gundogan, yeah, actually, it's good that he went for Rodrigo, but yeah. Um, in my opinion, he's one of the best mids on the platform. I probably agree because, again, with this guy, the consistency is just super, super huge. It's like. A cheaper Kimmich with a little bit of less spikes and less insane scores. But it's a really consistent player who will score a lot of good all-round scores for you and also get a decisive here and there. Um, for me, still way too expensive to use, but definitely a nice player. Then we got some um, some loose players without a reason, really. Uh, Konrad Leimer from Bayern Munich. I'm curious if he's gonna do much there, to be honest. Um, at Leipzig he was okay, nothing too insane. At Bayern he might do really, really well, but I think it's more for the rotation, so I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, and Bappe, because he's the best in real life, well, that is true. And Bappe is insane. He's also insanely expensive, but of course he delivers for you. Um, how amazing would it be to just have those consistent players in your team and just never have to make decisions? You can always put those... those five plays in there without thinking captain Kimmich you know and done <laughs> have Mbappe in there have Rodrigo in there um, and then have Trent in there as well and next pick was Trent from Solar King um, because he's also just insane especially since he, he went to the midfield it's insane just insane um, I would almost think of captaining him instead of Kimmich you know I would make I would still make some crazy decisions then um, and then we got Nicholas Jackson from from this guy from man mohan mishra um i honestly don't know much about this guy he went to chelsea he was doing good at the end um there for villarreal so also all around wise really nice scores and not too expensive but i'm honestly not sure how he's gonna do at chelsea if he's gonna start at chelsea uh, 22 year old so uh, very young still so the potential is definitely there and he has proven that at the end of the season when he got some starting games so um it, it is looking promising it's i'm curious to see if he's gonna start a lot for chelsea though and then at the end we have gift orban he's going to destroy the belgian league this season so i don't know how this got in the champion europe video in the champion europe tweet but it did um, and he is insane. In the Belgian league, he's been doing insane and he's a really, really good player. And I definitely think he would smash in the G Belgian league, but I do think the possibilities are really, really high that he's gonna leave the Belgian league this season still. Because the rumors on this guy have been insane. So it's gonna be interesting to see if he maybe goes to champion team and how he does at the champion team. I think he won't do as crazy um, as he did in uh, the Belgian league. So now, so let's pick a winner now. Um, a lot of people went for the saver choices, in my opinion. And so I'm honestly having a little bit of trouble here to pick a winner because I was I wanted ah I already know actually. I'm going for the more affordable one and a more of a under the radar one, not someone who who's, who's really known everywhere. Um, 
So, Skin Baron, congratulations. You're winning um, this giveaway. So, you're winning limited Siebe van Heide. Make sure to DM me. Um, I think you really picked a nice under-the-radar player um, who's kind of affordable for a midfielder and is pretty consistent and has some spikes here and there as well. And I definitely think it's a good shout and a nice pick, uh, a unique one as well. Um, I appreciate... I appreciate everyone for submitting their their champion Europe players. I think there's a lot of good options, but also a lot of expensive ones. And that's, of course, the thing with champion Europe as well. Um, it's interesting to look at, look at all these players, the players that you like. Um, I'm picking this as a winner. So congrats. Um, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe on my channel. And make sure, if you're not signed up to Soda yet, to use my partner link in the description to get a free card on Soda. I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, ciao.